Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy, Shido from Go Get It Types YouTube channel. Back again with another video. And what I'm making for you today is a little foil t shirt. Um, it's going to be a 2X men's. It's foil. Um, got it from www.stalls.com. 2X men's. I just made these t shirts already. So, what I'm going to do is just basically clear out this. Clear, clear, clear it out. Um, and then what we're going to do is load up my graphic. It's already ready. It should be on the desktop. And so far what we got is the graphic. So it's a hashtag t-shirt. It says hashtag original. That's going to be the shirt. Uh, we're going to send it here. It's a men's 2X. So what I usually do with men's shirts, I make it. I, I spread it out at least 12 inches across so what I'm gonna do is spread it out like 12 inches and with this software what I'm using is a US cutter SC is for Macintosh computers um, pretty much they have two models the SC is for Macintosh it's a little more expensive maybe because they are trying to you know make some money from Apple I don't know but it's the SC and the MH the MH is basically for the um, Windows version. It's like 300. It's like a maybe like $80 cheaper. Both of them do a good job. And in my opinion, US Cutter is a better brand than um, Cricut because it seems like you get more bang for your buck. I mean, look at this. For the same price, I can get a Cricut. I could just buy one of these. You know what I'm saying? I could use all that space right there. I could buy one of these and basically, you know what I'm saying, do double the, the work that I can on a Cricut. So, you know what I'm saying? If you're looking at, if you're in the market for buying a vinyl cutter, make sure you get you a US cutter, please. Don't get no cricket. All right, so, um, if everything's sized up, what I'm gonna do, because these adhesive rolls, they don't come, they don't come too, you know what I'm saying, too big. I think that's like a 12 inch. So I'm not gonna cut it the long way. I'm, a, I'm not gonna cut it the short way, I mean, like this way, I'm gonna cut it the long way. And with something like this, um, the pressure that I'm gonna be using is what? 15 grams, so 15. And this is the same pressure I use for the vinyl as well. And the speed is gonna be 300. So next, what I'm gonna do, um, everything's all set up. You know, if I wanted to cut it out the short, well, lengthwise, I cut it out that way. But since I'm gonna cut it out over 12 inches, Basically, I'm gonna cut it the long way. It's gonna waste a little vinyl, but it is what it is. It's a fresh, it's a fresh jump anyway. And while that's cutting out, it shouldn't take too long. I'm just gonna get the t-shirt set up over here. Got my heat press that I got from eBay.com for 150 some dollars. I mean, shit, I had this thing for about eight years or ten years. And it's still kicking, so don't listen to when people tell you to get all these expensive ass heat presses. I mean, I made a lot of money on this Chinese junk, so it is what it is. And buy what you want to buy, you know what I'm saying? It's your money. It's your money anyway. It's your money. But don't let nobody discourage you, is what I'm saying. So I'm gonna go over here, look for the 2X, look for that 2 Oh, the 2X, it should be. I know it's okay. It's probably the 2X, okay? Yeah. That right, t-shirt brand that I'm using is a Next Level. Next Level brand. Um, the client wanted a softer feeling t-shirt. Mm, something more of a retail fit. So, I ordered the client exactly what she wanted. And this is a great shirt, excellent shirt, excellent brand, holds up well. And uh, sounds like my adhesive just finished cutting. So what I do, I just fold this, I fold a t-shirt I have to create like a center line. Uh, once I have my center line, you know, basically I know where to put the graphic. That's where I'm gonna put the graphic, dead in the middle. So it makes a center line so I can align my graphic up properly. Nice and proper. All right. So I'm gonna take you back over here. 
to the vinyl cut station. To the vinyl cut station. Mm -hmm. All right, that's all done. So I'm gonna take y'all back over this side of town. Damn, did it even cut? Oh yeah, it cut. Let's see. It. But like I was saying, it took out so much. But it's all good. I usually don't waste that much, but I'm gonna do it for uh, do it for y'all in this video. Just for the just for y'all, I do it all for y'all. Make sure you um, click that like button for doing it for y'all. <laughs> I do it for y'all. All right, so you know, what I'm saying I'm gonna weed it now, and I just wasted probably 20 bucks by doing this, but uh, it's all good. It's all good. that's weeded this adhesive from stalls it takes it takes about it's um, five seconds for the initial press to get on a shirt right the heat that you set it on is 300 degrees so, what you gotta make sure is that your heat press is set to 300 degrees, or this is not gonna work. So, what I'm gonna do is make sure my heat press is set to, what, what I sell you, 300 degrees, 300. So now that that's, um, the temperature is decreasing, it's set to 300 degrees. Uh, what I'm gonna do is make sure my graphic is aligned because you know it was in reverse. So when I put it on a shirt, it comes out right side up. Okay. All right, there we go. So that's cut. All right, so now I need the gold foil because she wants it in gold. So, we got the gold foil. Yep, yep, yep. That gold foil right here. Handy dandy gold foil. We're just gonna Basically, this is all scratched up right there. I don't want to use that. So, we just want to cut out a little piece of gold. Use a nice fresh piece of gold for you. I mean, I mean, like, this gold foil is perfect. I mean, literally, this stuff lasts for a long time. You know what I'm saying? With proper washing. Um, with proper, you know what I'm saying? Just wash it properly. Just take care of it. Don't be wilding out. So, with, you know, with proper washing care, then it can last you a long time. But if you just putting bleach on every, every fucking thing, then, of course. But just, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you're washing dark colors on dark. Um, you know what I'm saying? Basically put all your lights on hot cool so yeah, there we go and this is where I bought my um my vinyl cutter from this is from uscutter.com uscutter.com All right, so basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna zoom in, cause I'm pretty sure the heat press is still, is still loading up. I mean, still warming down. So we're gonna click on vinyl cutting. 
No, first we want to click on equipment. Uh, this is the one that I get. Vinyl cutters. I mean, you can do so much with this work area. You see the 34 inch MH? Um, that's for Windows, if you have a Windows computer. Basically, it is 379. That's not bad. So we're gonna go to Cricut. We're gonna go to Cricut and then click shopping. I mean, you paying, let's see, 329? Come on, man. 12 by 12? Come on, man. You doing 12 by 12 when you can do this? 34 inches. Come on, man. You see, would you pay 379 or 329? You do the math. 12 inches or 34 inches? Come on. Don't 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 play around. Y'all better stop messing with them crickets. Don't mess with the crickets. Alright, anyway. Cause I think that um don't even waste your money on them crickets, man. So this is at 300. Um I got it on 16 seconds. Cause I know what I have to do is What I gotta do is basically um, count, what's five seconds? Yeah, I gotta count five seconds and then take it up. And then the, the next step after I put the gold on there, I'm gonna leave the gold on there for um, 10 seconds. So you see what I'm doing? This first step is gonna be five seconds. So I press it down for until it hit to 10 or 11. 13, 12, 11, 10. Boom, pick it up. Peel it hot. Peel it off fast. Hurry up, put this little gold sleeve on it. Put that gold over top of it. Make sure it's covering it. Yep, it's covering it. It's covering it. We put our Teflon sheet down. 14, 13, 12. 11 thumbs up subscribe notifications it's eight seven six five four three two all right lift up all right now what i'm gonna do is cut my machine off cut my heat press off all right boop because this takes a little bit to to cool down uh for time's sake it don't take that long, but um, just just give it a little while, kind of cool down a little bit. Let it cool down a little bit. Yep. Let that jank cool. I just want to peel it up. You see me eager. I'm over here trying to peel the thing off. Let it cool down a little bit. Cause it's a lot easier to peel off once you cool it down. Alright. Alright. Yeah, right, you're all done. It's lined up. Oh. I think focusing on the wrong people. It's all lined up. And then extra step to make sure that it's um It gives it, it gives it a more shiny effect when I do this. So what I'm gonna do is just place the um the Teflon sheet back over top of it. You know, press it down a little bit. Maybe it's not even on. I'm just just using a um leftover heat to kind of put it on top. Bam. Boom. And it leaves a little gives it a little crisper effect. A crispy effect and it looks beautiful it probably look a little okay look gold it looks gold yeah and it's a beautiful t-shirt beautiful very beautiful marvelous and then here goes the ones that I've did previous to this video 
couple hashtag tees. The same method. The only thing is that I use some vinyl from Grimco. The company is called Grimco. It's like $40 for 15 by five yard roll. Now, tell yourself this. If you bought that Cricut, it's going to be hard for you to, to buy rolls of fucking vinyl because you can, you're limited to, you're limited to 12 by 12. You know what I'm saying? My limit is 34 inches. I mean, <laughs> come on now. All right. So make sure, you know what I'm saying, you you spending your money wisely. Don't just be buying stuff because it's at Walmart or because it's at Michael's or because everybody else got it. You know what I'm saying? Use what the pros use. Use what people in the industry been using. All right? And if you're just starting out, you know what I'm saying, I mean, you can get the cricket. It's still serve the same purpose, but you might have to end up upgrading sooner or later. Um... And if you want to start making t-shirts, feel free to message me. This is, I hope this uh, tutorial help you out a little bit. Um, you know what I'm saying? Basically, like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell. Uh, making t-shirts has been a blessing for me. Uh, made a lot of money um, to pay off bills and things like that. So if you, you're a young person starting out, looking for a job, you know what I'm saying? Even if you got to work at Popeye's or KFC for a little bit. Save your money up, buy one of these things, get you a laptop, get you one of these little vinyl cutters, um, get you some like software editing. They got a lot of free software editing devices out there. Um, kind of play around with it and you know what I'm saying? You can, you could basically just make some side money making t-shirts. I mean, everybody wants a shirt and it's a lot of people making shirts, but I'm not gonna reach everybody. Those people are not gonna reach everybody. And the people that I don't reach and the people that, um, that the other people that make shirts don't reach, you're gonna reach them. You know what I'm saying? It's over, you know what I'm saying? A billion people in the world. Everybody needs some shirts. And customer service is key. All right, peace out, y'all. Gone.